Coumadin is a medication that causes the blood to clot more slowly, or can be called a blood thinner. If you've had a mechanical valve replacement, you will be taking Coumadin for the rest of your life. Some people may also need Coumadin due to an irregular heartbeat, such as atrial fibrillation, which is common after open heart surgery. Coumadin doses are based on a blood test called an INR. You will need to have this blood test done on a regular basis to ensure you are on the proper dose. This blood test is especially important when you first go home. It may take several weeks for your doctor or nurse to determine the right dose for you. The blood test is usually done three times a week during the first couple of weeks to help with this decision. After that, your doctor will tell you how often you must have your INR drawn. Coumadin is a very slow acting medication. The dose you take today will not be reflected in your lab test for almost 48 hours. This is why your blood test will be checked frequently to ensure your blood is not too thin or not thin enough. After your blood test is drawn and the results reviewed, your doctor will contact you to tell you what dose you should take. This may change often in the first few weeks after surgery. Your doctor will also tell you when your next lab draw will need to be done. You should hear from your doctor or nurse within 24 hours of your lab draw. If you do not, please contact them immediately to find out what dose of Coumadin you should be taking. When you're discharged from the hospital, you'll be given prescriptions of varying strengths of Coumadin in order to make it easier for you to adapt to your changing medication dose. The most important side effect of Coumadin is either bleeding or your blood is slow to clot. While on Coumadin, you must be careful not to cut or injure yourself. Be careful with shaving. We always recommend an electric shaver. If you do cut yourself, press on the area hard for a few minutes. If bleeding doesn't stop or if you have spontaneous bleeding from your nose or any other area on your body, go to the emergency room immediately. If you experience a serious fall or hit your head, even if you don't feel injured, notify your surgeon. Coumadin has many food and other medication interactions which can lower or increase its effectiveness. Please see the Coumadin Discharge Booklet. Notify your dentist or doctors that you are on Coumadin before undergoing any procedures due to the risk of bleeding. If you're discharged on Coumadin, you will be given extensive teaching about this medication, possible interactions, and side effects.